next topic it is host controlled restriction and modification this is also very important topic to understand the basic physiology of the cell that how it can deal with the incoming foreign DNA as we discussed earlier that uh, a different type of microbes they produce restriction endonucleases and uh, these restriction enzymes they can continuously monitor the incoming of the foreign DNA agar cell ye realize kare ki jo target DNA hai it belongs to surrounding environment to cell ke jo restriction enzymes hain ye foreign us pe attack karte hain aur isko disintegrate kar dete hain to is tarah se jo restriction ka jo mechanism hai basically it is protective in nature so it protect the cell from the invasion of the foreign dna as we have the idea that bacterial cells they are being colonized are attacked by different type of bacteriophages and you are well familiar with the lytic cycle where bacteriophages can attack the bacterial cell injects its dna and then they can take the control of the host machinery they can replicate there and they can cause the cell lysis but this is not always there because cell also contain restriction enzymes that can protect uh, from that lysis but some uh, uh, bacteriophages they are able to uh, replicate uh, within the host bacterial cell as indicated by the lytic cycle no when bacteriophage attack a particular host bacterium then we can monitor the replication of bacteria in terms of efficiency of plating efficiency of plating means that what is the number of plaques that are produced during the lysis no plaques are the clear zones that are produced uh, on a lawn of bacterial cell after the cell lysis when cell they are grown on a solid medium so bacterial lawns can be produced and if the lysis is there the clear zones can be there that are the result of cell lysis and we can count the number of plaques if plaques are high in number it means that uh, plating efficiency it is also high so this mechanism of restriction and modification we can study by using two host strains of e coli one is e coli c and other is e coli k so if bacteriophages they first grown on the first strain that is e coli c and if they are propagated on e coli c and e coli k then in the first strain that is e coli c the bacteriophages they will not be restricted that is indicated by the high efficiency of plating high number of plaques that are uh, produced within a bacterial culture whereas on the other hand on second strain the bacteriophage they will be restricted that is indicated by low number of plaques that are produced so the plating efficiency will be uh, low in case of second strain ye kyun low hai the iski jo main reason hai wo ye hai ki because of restriction system of the host organism to bacteriophage ki jo entry hai ya replication hai wo restrict ho gayi hai ab aise bacteriophages that have been grown on second host strain like e coli k if they are used to reinfect the same strain that is e coli k they will no more be restricted they will multiply and their multiplication uh, will be indicated by high efficiency of plating more number of plaques are there but once the bacteriophages that were grown on second host that is e coli k if they are once recycled on first host that is e coli c and then they are used to reinfect the e coli k then again they will be restricted so it means that some non heritable change 
it is shifted after the multiplication of bacteriophages on E. coli K that enable them to reinfect and cause the lysis of the same strain that is E. coli K. So, this is called as the modifications that during the replication within the host organism like the E. coli K, the DNA has been modified that enable it to grow in the E. coli K. So, here this diagram indicates the host controlled restriction and modification of phage lambda. So, if we use those bacteriophages lambda that can infect the E. coli C, the plating efficiency it will be high like 1 when we are going to grow it on E. coli C. But if we take the bacterial titer or stalk and directly infect it after growing on E. coli C to E. coli K, then the plating efficiency it is very very low that indicated the restriction of the phage by the second host strain that is E. coli K. But once the strains that have been grown on E. coli K, if they again use to reinfect the E. coli K, then the plating efficiency it is high. It is because of the modification, because DNA after replicating one cycle, it has been modified. And once it is recycled through E. coli C here, then again the plating efficiency it is high. And in the next stage, if it is again used to infect E. coli K after recycling with E. coli C, then again plating efficiency it will be very, very low. So, this indicated that restriction and modification mechanism it is working in the host organism. Now, different type of restriction enzymes, they are present in host organism. Now, question is that, ke jo host organisms hain, like E. coli ya dusre bacteria, ye apne DNA ko kaise protect karte hain from its own restriction enzymes. Because restriction enzyme, they can attack on any type of DNA. So, the main mechanism is that the host organism can protect its own DNA from the target of restriction enzyme by the process of methylation. That within a certain recognition sites where uh, restriction enzymes can attack, they are being methylated, they are modified. So, that is why it is being protected from the restriction enzymes. And this explains the reason that why bacteriophage lambda that have survived one cycle on the second host that is E. coli K, why they are no more restricted after second time multiplication. So, it is because that their DNA it has been methylated during the process of replication at the first stage and second stage they are no more restricted. So, this is one of the example of restriction and modification that is explained with reference to bacteriophage lambda and the host organism like the bacterium. There may be some other examples as well where the DNA transfer from bacteria to bacteria it can also be restricted and uh, just for the uh, sake of convenience we have taken this example of bacteriophage lambda.